website, julieplanner.com, where I share easy ideas for entertaining, home decor, and so much more. Today, I am taking you down to the Lake Cottage, where we have been working on so many projects this year. We decided just to get it all done while we're spending more time at home. Now, one of our projects has been a long time coming. And while it really does look beautiful, it's really there to fill a need first. And you'll hear me saying time and time again, I like to blend function and design. Well, this garden is no different. We were having a lot of water issues with our home, so we brought in a lot of rock and built up an area so that it would slope away from the home, which is lakefront, so it slopes downward. And of course, then it's like, well, we may as well plant it, make it look beautiful and everything we really wanted in the garden. The only problem is, just like you've seen in our flower arranging videos from our garden, there are the deer. They are always my constant enemy of flowers, but my constant source of joy. I absolutely love seeing them, um, even if it is while they are eating one of my beautiful buds. When we're not on the water, we're out here getting a few things done, little by little. We started this project in the spring and we still have some roses to go. Of course, every good project starts with a trip to the hardware store. So we took the girls I wanted to keep it really simple and give it a cottage feel. To achieve that, I lined the edge with lavender. I've always wanted lavender and I'm hoping that it goes better down here at the lake house than it did in St. Louis. We don't particularly have the best soil for it here in the Midwest, but it is very, very doable. So here's to hoping. So far, so good. Almost all the plants are really thriving. One of the issues that we have in the Midwest are that we have harsh winters, which mean we don't have blooms all year round. I wanted to maintain some green year round, so I integrated some boxwoods. I always love doing things in odd numbers and just kind of allowing them to flow and not planting them in a complete straight row. One of the things that we haven't gotten to yet are planting some white spray roses. It turns out they are really difficult to find this year, but where there's a will, there's a way, and eventually we'll get it done. But I'm hoping to add a row in there that will really fill out and make this garden feel loose and beautiful and soften the exterior of our home. Now, my absolute favorite addition to the garden, and hopefully not the deer's favorite addition, are the limelight topiaries. I really love hydrangea, I love blooms, but they're a challenge down here because they make really great deer food. So we planted these two large topiaries that I had to hunt down and brought them down when my sister was with us so we could utilize her minivan. Unbeknownst to us, we also had a visitor, oh, a wasp. And so anyways, all the kids were screaming, yelling. We had to pull over the car and everybody jumped out, but we got the job done. I can't wait to share the finished product. Until then, don't forget to click subscribe because we have so many fun projects ahead and really easy and amazing recipes. I look forward to seeing you again soon.